Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson where I'm going to talk about how to talk about other people or more specifically, I'm going to talk about the types of ways you can talk about other people. I think you'll get a good understanding as we get into the lesson. Um there are obviously a lot of ways to have a conversation where you talk about a different person and there are many many different types of conversations like that. Um it might sound like a, a random topic. It might sound like a very specific topic but all of the 35 or so words actually let me see here maybe 30 words uh, are very very common in English. You'll hear these words on the news. You'll hear these words in conversations. To gossip. So, when you gossip about someone else, it means you talk about them and you say things about them that might be true and might not be true. Gossip as a noun is considered not a very polite thing. When you gossip with someone, notice I can say um those two people are gossiping or that person was just spreading gossip. I can use it as a verb and then as a noun. But gossip is when you just simply say, did you hear about Joe? Joe lost his job. Joe was, I mean, and it makes sense, you know, because like I totally don't think he's a good worker. So, when you gossip about someone, you talk about something that's happened in their life, not with them. So, if we if we're talking about gossip, Joe is over here and then I'm over here with another person talking about Joe saying things like, oh, Joe, I'm not surprised Joe lost this job because last time I worked with Joe, he just sat around all the time. That would be saying mean things about someone or gossiping. And sometimes people just tell secrets. Um they'll um trust someone. So, if I was to tell Brent speak English with this guy. If I was to tell Brent a secret via email and then if Brent was to tell everyone in the chat the secret, Brent would be telling a secret. When you tell a secret or when you reveal a secret of someone, it's not a very nice thing to do. I know uh, a long time ago, I told a friend a secret and I said, keep this secret and then that friend w- uh, later went and told the secret to other people. That was not very very nice. You can talk behind someone's back. This is similar to gossip but it's a little meaner I think. When you talk behind someone's back, it means that they cannot hear the conversation. It means that you're saying something to another person and the person you're talking about can't hear you. That sounded very complicated. If you look at this picture, you can see that there are some people in the hallway having a conversation and I'm imagining they're talking about someone in the room and that person in the room can't hear them. So, we would say that they are talking behind that person's back. Talking behind their back. The opposite of course would be to say something to someone's face. Sometimes you're annoyed with someone and so you tell a friend that you're annoyed with them but sometimes you're so annoyed you just tell them to their face. You go right up to them and you say, Joe, you're not a good worker or Joe, I don't like working with you. That would be saying something to someone's face or telling them to their face. There's a few variations on that phrase. So, technically, this doesn't belong in this lesson because it's not a way to talk about other people. It's a way to tell someone directly uh something that you don't like about what they're doing or what they um have said. And then of course, there's just to lie. When you lie about someone, you say something that isn't true. This is probably the meanest and most basic form of talking about another person. If you say, let's say Joe is a good worker and you work with Joe and you tell someone that Joe isn't a good worker, you are telling a lie. Not a very kind or polite thing to do. Uh lying about someone else or making up something about someone. That's another way to say it. It's just not kind. That's why this megaphone says untruths. So, as he speaks into the megaphone, lies are coming out the other end. To spread rumors. So, here's an interesting one because it's similar to talking behind someone's back. Um it's similar in a way to gossiping um but when you spread rumors, sometimes you say something about someone and you exaggerate the truth or you tell lies when you spread rumors. So, let's say 
Joe, Joe's the example for all of these today. Let's say Joe got home from work really, really late. You could say, oh, I think Joe um was like doing something he wasn't supposed to do. Joe was home late for work. So, there's a little bit of truth there that Joe was home late for work but then you might add a lie to it. So, you might tell someone else something about Joe that's true and add a bit of a lie but when you spread rumors, they're very negative. Um you're spreading negative things about someone and it's not a very kind thing to do. To criticize. So, when you criticize someone, you can criticize someone in a conversation like I could talk to someone and be critical and criticize them but I can also be critical of someone when I'm talking about them with a different person. So, I could say to a colleague at work, you know, I just don't like the way the boss ran that meeting. I don't like that the meeting started late. Uh there was no agenda for the meeting. So, I am criticizing my boss as I talk to a colleague. So, again, uh when you criticize, it's a way to um yeah, it's a way to complain. It's a but I'm gonna talk about complain later. Um but it's a negative conversation about another person. Uh and then again, you can criticize someone to their face, okay? You can do that as well. To throw shade. So, this is a relatively new term and this is something that mostly we hear about celebrities doing. Sometimes a celebrity will say something about another celebrity and it's and it's a very negative thing and we we now call that throwing shade. I don't wanna get into the details but right now, Kanye and Pete, Kanye is throwing some shade uh at Pete, on Pete. I actually don't know which you would say but Kanye is definitely throwing shade right now. If you check the news, there's a little bit of a um a Twitter war or an Instagram war between um Kanye and his ex-wife and Pete Davidson. So, I'll let you find the details but to throw shade means it doesn't have to be a celebrity but we mostly hear this term when you watch the news about celebrities where a celebrity will throw shade on another celebrity. So, they'll say something negative or mean or even untrue about a celebrity that they know. To whisper. So, you can whisper about someone. Um usually, we hear this term in a negative sense like there were whispers about this person doing something and basically, it means that I guess it's similar to talking behind someone's back but when you whisper about someone, you you're basically like, did you hear about Joe? Joe got home from work late because he went and he I'm trying to think of something negative that Joe did. What would be oh yeah, Joe went to the casino after work and spent all his money. So, so if you hear two people talking quietly about someone else, we would say that they are whispering about them. And to tell half truths, I mentioned this in the lesson I did on secrets and lies. A half truth is when you tell something that's partly true uh but maybe you enhance it a little bit. So, if you so maybe Joe stole someone's stole some money at work and if you tell a half truth, you would say um you know, Joe, he's been stealing money for a long time. So, you know he stole money but you're kind of exaggerating the story. You don't know if he stole money for a long time but you add a little bit to the story. Well, finally, here's a phrase that's not negative. I wanted to make sure I had a balance of phrases. So, we're going to talk about the phrase to speak highly of. When you speak highly of someone, it means that you like them and you appreciate what they're doing. A great example would be this. Speak English with this guy. His name is Brent. Has a YouTube channel and I speak very highly of him when I mention his channel to other people because I think he's doing good work. When you speak highly of someone, it means Um you say very nice things and very kind things about them. So, it's always nice if you know someone who's a hard worker at work and then when you're having a conversation and their name comes up, then you say nice things about them. We would say that you are speaking highly of them. To recommend. When you recommend someone, it means that you say they'll be good for a certain thing. Let's use Joe as an example. Let's say my school needed a new teacher 
And I knew that Joe was a good teacher and he didn't have a job. I could recommend Joe to my principal. I could go to the principal and say, I have a friend named Joe. He's a really good teacher and he doesn't have a job right now. So, when you say that someone's good at something or when you say that something they're doing is really good, it it basically means you're recommending them. So, again, we'll use um Brett's probably getting tired of me talking about his channel but speak English with this guy. I highly recommend you visit his channel at some point. He teaches English like I do uh and he has done a few videos lately where he's on in different parts of the United States. So, I recommend that you watch them. So, that means I like his videos. I like the work he's doing and I like it so much I will tell other people that they should go watch them. To vouch for. So, here's um another way of recommending but it's it really works. Yeah, it means you're saying you can trust someone. If you vouch for someone, it means you know them really really well, okay? So, in this picture it says Joe. Joe is a hard worker. If I worked with Joe for a long time and I knew Joe was a very good worker and if someone said, I'm thinking of hiring Joe. Is he a hard worker? I could say, yeah, I'll vouch for him. I worked with him for a long time. He's a really, really good worker. So, when you vouch for someone, it means that you publicly say or in a conversation you say that you think that person is good at something, okay? Sometimes my students will apply for a job um and then the company will call me uh and say, is this student a good worker? And then I'll vouch for them. I'll say, yep, absolutely. When I had them in class, they were a hard worker. They did a great job. To <laughs> do trash talk. I don't know why. This picture cracks me up because it's a couple of older people. Um but trash talk is when you say mean things about people. Most often, you'll hear trash talk or trash talk will happen when people are playing sports. If you watch football or soccer or basketball, uh those are sports where sometimes the players walk by each other and they'll say something really mean about them like, you have a big nose. Actually, they say meaner things than that but when you trash talk someone, you might say um yeah, where'd you learn to where'd you learn to play football from uh from your I don't know. Anyways, it's when you I'm not good at trash talk by the way but when you trash talk someone, you basically are saying mean things about them usually in a sports game and by the way, you can flip it as well. You can talk trash about someone which I think is a little more general and simply means to say mean things about someone. So, this I picture this as this this older gentleman is saying mean things about this other person. I don't know why that made me laugh because I think I think older people are all really kind and then it just made me giggle. To be a reference. So, this is a more formal term uh and it's similar to vouching for someone. When you act as a reference for someone, it means that legally, I guess legally, definitely formally, you are willing to say that person is good at something or that they're a good person. So, sometimes when people apply for a job, they'll say, can I, will you be a reference for me? And that means you're formally allowing them to put your name on their job application and then the place they're applying for the job can call you to see if that person's a good person. So, I, this is probably a better example for when I said sometimes I vouch for students. Probably a better example would be sometimes a student will ask if I will be a reference because they're applying for a job and then that the place they're applying at, someone will call me and say, so Joe, your student Joe has applied for a job and they've listed you as a reference. Would you be able to tell us a little bit about Joe? And then I would say, Joe's great. Joe's a hard worker, et cetera, et cetera. Um, to build someone up. When you build someone up, it means usually you tell them directly but you can also tell other people good things about them. So, if I was talking to Joe, I could say, Joe, you're really good at this job. Joe, I saw the work you did last week and it was awesome. Joe, you are doing a great job. So, I can tell Joe directly but I could also tell my boss. If I worked with Joe, I could go to my boss and say, you know what? I just wanted to put a good word in for Joe. He's doing great work right now. So, anytime you say something that will um 
highlight good work or actions that someone has done. You are building them up. To sabotage. When you sabotage someone's career or you sabotage someone's um work, it means you destroy it by telling lies behind their back. So, it's not a word we use a lot but I did hear this in a movie um and so, when you hear the phrase like, oh, he's out to sabotage her life, it means that they're going to say, they're going to spread rumors, they're going to tell lies about you, they're going to do everything they can to make people not like you. So, that's why I put this picture of one person whispering to another like, did you hear Joe quit his job again? Joe, Joe quit five jobs in the last five days. He can't keep a job. So, they're trying to sabotage someone's reputation, to sabotage someone's career or to sabotage their life. To rat. So, we've gone over this one already. When you rat on someone, it means you tell someone in authority what they did. If two of my kids, let's say the cookies were gone and I said to my kids, who ate the last cookie? And if my one kid said, he did, (laughs) Joe ate it. I don't have a kid named Joe. We would say that that person has ratted out Joe. Or maybe I'm driving with one of my kids to school and I say, you know, the TV broke the other day. Do you know what happened? And if they said, oh, Joe did it. They would be ratting out Joe. So, when you rat someone out, it means you um tell someone in authority um something that they did. To give someone up. (laughs) To give someone up is very similar. Uh when you give someone up, it means let's say uh Joe and I robbed a bank and we were going to keep it a secret and then Joe went to the police and said, Bob did it. We would say that he gave gave me up. When you give someone up, it basically means that you've done something illegal or you've done something wrong and one person again tells someone in authority that you've done it. So, to rat and to give someone up are very very uh very very similar. To stab someone in the back. So, this is a little bit different. This is when um you betray someone or this is when you you and someone else um yeah, you have there's trust between two people and then one of the people goes and does something or tells other people about something you've done. If you have a secret, if you and a friend had a secret and your friend told the secret to someone else, you could say that they stabbed you in the back, okay? So, it's a way of betraying someone. It's a way of um breaking the trust between two people. And so, we have to betray. I think, I don't know my history very well but I think um Brutus betrayed Caesar. I think that's how it went. So, Caesar trusted Brutus and I think his dying words are like a tu brute or a tu brute. I forget. I don't know how to say it but when you have trust and when one of those people does something that causes harm to the other person or makes them feel bad or actually Um something bad happens to them, we would say that you betrayed them. Never nice to betray someone. To put someone down. When you put someone down, it means again, you're saying mean things about them. So, if Joe was a really hard worker (laughs) and I was talking to someone else, I could say Joe's not a hard worker. Joe is like, he's the worst worker ever. Um Joe's late for work all the time. He's always leaving early. He steals stuff from work. So, you're saying you're you're basically saying mean things about the person. That might be true and might not be true. It both could happen. And again, you can put someone down to their face as well. Like, I could go up to someone and say mean things about them and we would use the same phrase to put someone down. To whine. (laughs) So, I think children do this the most. When you whine about someone, it means you complain about them for a long time. So, sometimes after work, people will go to a restaurant and as they sit around, they might whine about their boss. They might whine about a colleague that isn't there at the restaurant. So, it's basically very very similar to to complain and we often use these two words together. So, sometimes people get together and they have fun but sometimes they whine and complain about work 
or they whine and complain about their boss or they whine and complain about their coworker. Um so definitely these two words mean the same thing and they often go together and um yeah, it's a lot more fun to go out with people from work and enjoy yourself. It's not fun to go out and listen to people whine and complain about everything. So, uh anyways, this you can use to talk about a situation or people. Both will work. To ruin someone's reputation. When you ruin someone's reputation, it means you lie about them or you reveal a secret that they didn't want revealed. You do something that makes them This happens a lot with celebrities. So, a celebrity might have done something in the past and when they um when someone reveals that it might they might no longer be able to work. They won't get hired to make movies. Um this happens sometimes with teenagers where someone will make up a story or tell a lie about someone else and tell the whole school and a person who everyone liked now all of a sudden students don't like that person because someone ruined their reputation. Not a kind thing to do at all. Um to defame and to slander. So, when you defame or slander someone, they pretty much mean the same thing but they have more of a formal legal definition. So, when you let me actually give you the definition. It's when you say something about someone publicly um but you can then, they can then take you to court if you lied. So, slander. Um to make false and damaging statements about someone publicly and then let's look for demean or defame, sorry. Defame. To damage the good reputation of someone through slander or libel and to do so publicly. So, again, these are more like legal definitions of saying something about someone. When you spread gossip or when you spread rumors or when you gossip about someone, there's no legal ramifications. Do you know that word? Like, they can't sue you but if a newspaper publishes something that's untrue or if something is said publicly that's untrue, someone can say, no, that's slander or you've defamed me and they might take you to court and we also have to falsely accuse um, I have been guilty of falsely accusing some of my children of doing certain things. Um sometimes when something happens, like let's say someone broke something in the house, you might think you know which child did it but if you tell them, I know you did it and they didn't, you are falsely accusing someone. This also happens in the world. Sometimes people will falsely accuse someone else. They'll Tell the police that someone did something and when it's not true. So, not a nice thing at all. To praise. So, you can praise someone to their face. You can go to someone and say, good job. Um awesome work. Um but you can also praise someone to someone else. I could say, you know, um Rod the Brazilian English teacher. By the way, Rod the English teacher in the chat. Uh Rod's a really nice guy. Uh he does really good work as well on YouTube. And he teaches classes, English classes, and he's good at it. I'm giving Rod praise. Um I could do that to Rod, which I've done when I've talked to him, but I can also do it to someone else. Okay. So it's like kind of like recommending, it's kind of like saying good things about someone. You can also sing someone's praises. Okay. So when you sing someone's praises, you say a lot of good things about them. So you might you might talk about them for 10 minutes. And the whole time you're talking about them, you're saying good things about them. So, a very nice thing to do if you know someone uh who's doing something really good in the world, you might say, you know, this person donates a lot of money. This person, we should use Joe. Joe donates a lot of money. Joe volunteers to help out uh, at a soup kitchen to feed the homeless. Joe is a great person. If I talked about Joe for five minutes or ten minutes and just continually said good things, I would be singing his praises. To question someone's authority. (laughs) So, when you question someone's authority, it's when you talk about them and you you're basically saying they shouldn't be in power anymore. So, sometimes at work, people will question the boss's authority. In government, people sometimes question 
someone's authority. Right now, there is a protest in Ottawa and people are questioning Justin Trudeau's authority. So, when you question someone's authority, you ask questions and you talk about them in a way where you're basically saying they shouldn't be in charge anymore. Okay, this next word, this last word, it, please listen carefully as I explain it, okay? This is a word that's considered a bad word in English but I'm going to talk about the verb form of it, okay? So, in English, if you call someone, if you uh call someone a bitch, that is a bad word. That is not a nice thing to say. But in the verb form, it's kind of an informal slang and a crude way to talk about complaining. So, when you complain a lot, sometimes people will say that you're bitching, okay? Um all Joe does, he just bitches about work. So, again, listen carefully. This is not a word you would use at work. This is a very informal word. I said it's slang. It's it's more informal but it's actually more common than you think. Um I actually have heard this word a few times lately. Um so, again, when you call someone the B word, that is a bad thing but when you use it in this way, if you're talking to a friend and you say, you know, um let's stop bitching about work and let's talk about something positive. So, again, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if Brent's still here in the chat but I know he has to leave and teach usually but this is just a very crude informal slang way to say that you're complaining about something. There. I hope that made sense. Basically, what I'm saying is you'll hear this word but maybe you shouldn't use it but you might hear it if you're having a conversation sometime. 